I'm Erin Conrad from Two Works For You. Here are today's top stories. We begin with breaking news. The Beggs mother accused of shooting her three kids, killing two of them, is now officially charged with murder. Amy Hall made her first court appearance this morning. She's charged with two counts of first degree murder and one count of shooting with the intent to kill. Hall is accused of killing her 16 year old daughter Chloe and 18 year old son Kaysen while they slept. Her 14 year old daughter was also shot but survived. Hall's next court date is December 20th. A developing story now in green country. A kidnapped North Carolina girl found alive here in Oklahoma, more than 900 miles away from home. 13 year old Aubrey Acri disappeared Sunday from her home in North Carolina. Investigators found her last night at a Chicota motel along with 23 year old Jacob Guardia. Surveillance cameras captured Guardia's car earlier this week in North Carolina. Guardia now in custody facing charges including child abduction, but the FBI hasn't said anything about a possible motive. Guardia's first court appearance is scheduled for tomorrow. We have a crew in Dakota right now gathering more information and we'll have live coverage of that coming up tonight at 5 and 6. Now let's get a check of today's forecast from meteorologist Kirsten Lang. Well, today's pretty quiet. We're going to be looking for temps to be in the 60s with partly cloudy skies and a south wind as we head through the day. Those highs about 65 in Tulsa, 69 in Muskogee, 70s to our southeast. Uh, but as we head into the evening, then those temperatures drop into the 50s with overnight lows then bottom at around 45. Now tomorrow, that's where we see some changes. We're going to be looking for some showers and storms to move through the area. Time frame on this about 6 p.m. until around midnight. That's our best time frame. We will be also looking too for that risk of potentially seeing some of these storms stronger to possibly severe here across green country. It'll clear out for the weekend and then as we head into next week, we'll be looking for a chance for some snow possible Monday morning and then cooler next week. Aaron. All right, thank you, Kirsten. That was our digital update. Keep checking for updates throughout the day. I'm Erin Conrad. Two works for you.